Remember when Nintendo Japan executives took 50% pay cuts to keep their employees employed? I just wanted to put this on this subreddit to restore some faith in humanity. During the Wii U generation of console, 2012 to 2017, Nintendo was hemorrhaging money. Most game companies would just start quickly laying off employees. But the executives realized that their actions caused their current situation, not their employees. So they all took massive pay cuts. The president at the time, the late Satoru Iwata, cut his salary by 50%. They all did this to ensure they could keep everyone employed at their company. And then look what most Western companies did during the pandemic. Losing 10% profit and then going. Welp. Time to lay off half our workforce. I've worked for a Japanese MNC before outside Japan and TBH it's a great place to work. Very quiet and calm. There are busy times and a lot of calls with Japan but generally they are really respectful and abide by the laws of the host country perfectly. Mind you I was working an internship and had a training period for two weeks which was supposed to be unpaid but they compensated me for it took us out for racing racing company and the employees there had a pretty comfortable time most of the time maybe it was cuz i'm just an intern japanese workers also work ungodly hours if japan is the standard then we are in serious trouble remember when nintendo crushed unions they are not your friends they a soulless corporation just like any other. To be fair, Japan is a place where they have to put suicide nets up for their white collar workers. Let's not pretend it's some workers paradise. On average Japanese CEOs make 10 times the salary of the average worker. In the US 351 times. I worked for a Japanese company. My old boss would never do this and we were losing money. His money was intertwined with his business so much so it was as if the business was his personal bank account. You were expected to stop super late. 8, 9 or 10 p.m. with no overtime paid but if you were 5 minutes late he would scream at you in front of everyone. Still, it baffles me that 50% of the CEO's salary is enough to sustain the entire company. Japanese are very honorable. Most honorable. Japan. Looking for the anecdotal benevolent executives is not inspiring. The wealth shouldn't be extracted the way it is and that is everywhere in the world. The entire model is the same everywhere. The fact that half their wage could keep all the workers employed is still concerning laughing face. Not only that but a lot of companies made record-breaking profits and still laid off tons of employees. Person facepalming. How many top-tier Japanese companies had massive layoffs when COVID hit? There's two-way trust between employee and employer in Japan and that's a culture that can't be easily transplanted. It's not all rosy as hard work and long hours are expected. But your employer has your back. Um, almost all companies made record profits during COVID. So your point is moot. Now they get their 50% back by charging next-gen prices for games that wouldn't look out of place. If it was 1999. The average Japanese person has more honor in the tip of their pinky than most Americans do. Entirely. Fun fact. Profits aren't even down, they are up. The worst companies are the ones that were still making a profit took government money because reasons still laid off workers then gave the management gigantic bonuses please don't rewrite history to make corporations look sympathetic satoru iwata's base salary was seven hundred seventy thousand dollars and could go up to 2.3 million dollars with bonuses 
He was in charge during the release of the DS and Wii, two of Nintendo's most popular consoles. HTTPS www.gamesindustry.biz slash nintendobossern 7700000 basic salary. He took a 50% for 5 months in 2014 and a 67% pay cut for the fiscal year 2011. These are temporary pay cuts that are done as an act of atonement for disappointing financials. These are not uncommon in Japan and not a noble gesture. It's a punishment for bad work. HTTPS www.hollywoodreporter.com slash lifestyle slash arts slash Nintendo Siotake 50% slash And you know what happened for all the other years? He got his normal salary and bonuses. They're not the only Japanese company to do that. There is a sense of deep pride, honor, and responsibility when working for a Japanese company either as an employee or an executive. Keep in mind that while yes executives will perform that type of behavior, employees routinely kill themselves for their companies with the long hours that they work. It got so bad that I think the Japanese government actually had to mandate time off. Not sure about this last one. I just know they're trying to stop their citizens from becoming suicidal chronic workaholics. Accountability culture hits different. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epicaracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.